Enthusiacs, it's me Khadija. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my wash day routine for my high porosity hair in 2021. So this is what my hair is looking like at the end of the week. I think my hair was on day six or seven, but it's really dull way down. And we're going to start out with my overnight pre-poo, which is step one out of step four. So first I'm going to section my hair off into two halves and I'm going to apply my first oil, which is the Camille Rose Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Growth Serum. So I've been using this product for a few weeks now. I really like it. It has this lightweight consistency as you guys can see. It smells like honey and it feels really nourishing on the scalp. So I like to do a quick little scalp massage with this oil just to get all of those nutrients in my hair, in my scalp, and also to help stimulate hair growth. It has a lot of good oils in it. It has Ayurvedic herbs. So this, I'm really looking forward to seeing my progress with it after using it for a couple of months but I'm still new to using it so we'll see. Also I do want to note that I'm heavily focusing the oil on both my edges and my nape because these areas are really dry they have a hard time retaining moisture and also growing so I feel like if any part of my hair is going to benefit from hair growth it's definitely going to be these particular areas. So I'm applying additional product to my edges and my nape massaging it in to stimulate my follicles so that we can hopefully see some hair growth while also moisturizing these areas. So after applying that oil, I'm going to go in with my Jamaican black castor oil, also known as JBCO, and use that on my edges. So again, this is another oil that will really help to thicken the area and also just help nourish the area. Like I said, these parts of my hair are really difficult to care for. So during my wash day routine, I really like to give these areas a bit more TLC because they definitely need it. After massaging that in, now I'm finally getting to the oil that I'm going to use on the length of my hair, which is unrefined coconut oil. And I tend to only use the Spectrum brand. It works the best for me. So I'm just taking a good amount for each section, applying that to the hair and also finger detangling to get the shed hairs out and also the tangles. My hair wasn't really that tangled right here because I did refresh it midweek. So that was an opportunity to get out tangles. But usually when my hair is really tangled, it definitely comes in handy to help with that. Now, coconut oil is amazing for high porosity hair. There was actually a study that showed coconut oil helps to block out water and it also prevents the hair from swelling as much in comparison to other oils. So I definitely recommend that you guys check out this article that I found online to explain how it works. I'll leave a link down below, but there is some science behind it and this has been working for me for a few years now. I've been doing this overnight pre-poo since I believe 2016 and it has definitely transformed my hair. My hair is much stronger than it was before and it also retains moisture for a way longer. So this is just amazing. I highly recommend for high porosity hair. And if your hair doesn't like coconut oil, then I do suggest that you try something like avocado oil. I also read that babusu oil is good, palm kernel oil. So there are some different options out there. So this is what my hair looks like after all of those oils have been applied. Also, here is my shedding. Like I mentioned, my hair was refreshed midweek, so I do have less shedding, but this is what came out today. So now I'm going to put a shower cap and also my scarf and leave this on overnight. Okay guys, so this is about, I would say, two days later. I left the coconut oil in for a couple of days because the weather was just trash and in order for me to film, I do use natural lighting, so I wanted to wait until the lighting was better to wash my hair. But now we're gonna move on to step two, which is shampooing, and I'm using the main choice, Cheers Shampoo. I discovered this one last year and I have been loving it ever since. You guys recommended this to me last year and I've been loving it ever since. I love how well this stuff cleanses these are the ingredients it has protein in it and protein is super important for repairing high porosity hair so i typically do like to gravitate towards 
products that have a good amount of protein so that was just the first lather now we're going to move on to the second one and you can see how much more the shampoo lathers after some of that buildup has been removed and this is just an amazing shampoo i feel like if you have fine hair high porosity hair weak hair damaged hair you are going to love this This is my hair after rinsing all the shampoo out. It gives me a ton of volume. It still leaves my curls defined and my hair and scalp is clean. Now we're gonna move on to step three, which is deep conditioning. For this step, I am using the Camaro's Naturals Coconut Water Penetrating Hair Treatment. If you guys have been watching my videos, then you know that this has been a fave and a staple for a couple of years now. It has a medium consistency thickness. It's very creamy. It smells like a pina colada and it is very moisturized. So I just take a little bit of that and put it all over the canopy of my hair first and then I divide my hair and go in section by section. But these are the ingredients. It has a combination of some moisturizing oils, butters, and it also has protein which is hydrolyzed keratin at the bottom of the ingredients list. So this I just feel is perfect for high porosity hair because it's going to keep your hair balanced. It's not going to make it feel overly soft and overly moisturized, but it's not going to make your hair feel super hard and dry from all the protein either. So it's just the perfect balance and it always leaves my curls really defined, which I've always given the credit to the hydrolyzed keratin because that's what our hair is made out of and it's just giving my hair what it needs. So I'm going in section by section and focusing the deep conditioner on the length of my hair I'm also able to finger detangle because it has really nice slip and here you guys can really see the slip in action so I'm just gonna continue to distribute this all over my hair I like to take my time when I'm applying my deep conditioner because I feel like the more thorough I am with application the better my results will be after that I'm gonna two strand twist my hair so that it stays detangled and then I'm just gonna speed up the process because I'm doing the same exact thing on the opposite side of my hair Being that my edges in my nape need a little bit more love and attention, I'm applying extra product on both of those areas. I'm gonna put on my plastic cap and also my hair therapy wrap and deep condition my hair for 15 minutes, which is sufficient enough if you have high porosity hair because our cuticles are open, so you don't need to deep condition for super long. And these are my results after rinsing all of the deep conditioner out. Like I said, this deep conditioner always leaves my curls super, super defined, moisturized, slightly strengthened, and just perfectly prepped for styling. So that is why I love this. It is worth every single penny. So now we're going to move on to step four, which is the last and final step of my wash day routine. And I'm going to apply this turby twist to soak up the excess water that is in my hair. So 30 minutes later, my hair is now damp and we can work on it so this is what my hair is looking like it's still defined from that deep conditioner and it is ready to be styled so first I'm gonna take my kinky curly knot today followed by my curls daughter Margaret's magic and then I'm gonna seal all of that moisture in with just plain all extra virgin olive oil since I have done this routine a million times on my channel I'm just showing you guys my hair after it's all twisted up I'll leave a link down below to the actual video where you guys can see this twist out so this is is on day three I wanted to show you guys like the longevity of my twist out how it looks as it ages as the days progress so this is my nighttime routine I just put my hair up in this pineapple and of course I'm taking out these twists my edges and my nape I do try to moisturize them every single night just to give them that extra love so that they can thrive just like the rest of my hair I'm taking my hair out of that pineapple now I'm gonna take my afro pick and pick for volume and if you want a more like slow down in-depth video on how I pick my hair and also shape it then thumbs up this video to let me know So after all of that picking, fluffing, these are my final results. 
my wash day for 2021. All of these products are super effective, amazing for high porosity hair. And I feel like the more you use them, the better your results are going to be. Just being consistent, it's gonna help the health of your hair because it has definitely done that for me. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.